Hey there, so today we have another review and this one I'm really excited for. If you guys don't know, one of the most exciting releases of the year is going to be from Sierra Nevada. Uh, I know a lot of uh, people have passed them up, but you have to check out their beer when Oktoberfest comes around. So this is their Oktoberfest. Every year they've been changing the collaboration that they're doing with a German brewery. This year it is with Brauhaus Mittelberger. So this is their Oktoberfest beer, 6.1%. Um, absolutely exciting, can't wait. Always love it when they come out with this in, uh, around Oktoberfest. Anyway, so as you can see, this is actually a pretty pale beer. So a lot of American craft breweries are going to be calling their Oktoberfest beer. It's actually going to be a Matson. So Matson is darker. It comes in a copperish kind of reddish color. It's going to have a more rounded and full uh, malt quality. This one relies more on uh, pale malt, but still being around the same ABV, around 6%. And this style is called Fest beer. So Fest beer is going to be obviously um, with pale malt, and it's actually what they drink at Oktoberfest. They used to drink Mets in there, but now they have this lighter beer called Festivia. And it's actually not an easy style to find on the shelf. So thankfully, Sierra Nevada is doing a favor for us and letting us taste some beautiful Festivia. Let's dig into this beer. Beer comes in a deep gold color, wonderful clarity on there. Let's get the aroma on this one. Mm, wow. I'm getting a little bit of grassiness and then just this beautiful like uh, orange and lemon peel kind of quality, a really nice vibrant, hoppiness, but they're using straight German hops, so not that kind of American uh, Cascade citrus that you'd get. A nice rounded kind of like honeyed biscuity malt kind of quality in the background. A little bit of doughiness. Cheers. Mm. It pops with this just beautiful light sugary sweetness uh, throughout the palate. A little bit of a kind of like a breadiness, but the sweetness is really balanced out and plays around with this beautiful fresh hoppiness up front. You're getting fresh cut grass, get more of that kind of uh, lemon peel coming through. That sweetness almost reminds you a little bit of honey coming through. Um, it has a nice rounded malt quality, but obviously not like your Madsen, which is gonna uh, rely on more kind of like uh, caramelly, toasty, uh, bread crust kind of flavors. This one relies on pale malt. And at 6.1%, it's actually quite dangerous. It's very drinkable. Uh, reminds you of your, you know, Helles and, and Pilsner beers. Um, this one has a little, obviously a lot more malt quality behind it. And then there is this kind of spicy bitterness that sort of hits on the finish. Um, the beer sort of tells you that it's a little bit bigger and a little less refreshing uh, than your, you know, high 4% to, to 5% Pilsners. Uh, but it's absolutely delicious. I always enjoy when this beer um, comes out throughout the year or once a year. And this one holds up to the other collaborations that they've done. This one is still just a world-class Vespia. Just definitely something you need to be drinking around Oktoberfest time. 94. Absolutely delicious. This is Sierra Nevada Oktoberfest from, in collaboration with Bauhaus Mittelberger. Um, this is probably my second or third six pack uh, that I've had since the release of this and is absolutely delicious. Please let me know what you're drinking for Oktoberfest. Until next time, cheers. Later.